All right, so we got Alien Rogue Incursion. Official national trailer. Let's go, video. Let's go, man. We got Stellar Blade. We have multiple trailers. Let's go, man. Now, if this would, if this is what I think it is, PlayStation Meta Quest. Wait, what? Is this a new like Alien Isolation game or what? Oh, it is. It is. Because, like, the way they spell out alien, they don't even, like, complete that. Yeah, it is. Oh, wow. Oh, yep, it is. GG's. It is. Coming to VR? No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I mean, like, oh, yes, because, like, you know, Alien Isolation is, like, a good game and stuff like that, but hold up. All right, listen. So, I'm guessing this is a new game. It's called Alien Rogue uh, Incursion. Now, obviously, based off, like, you know, based off of this, like, based off of this school thread, based off, like, the way they spell out Alien and stuff like that, um, yeah, this is based off of, like, the video game uh, Alien Isolation. In my opinion, that's probably one of the scariest games of all time. Uh, if you guys haven't played Alien Isolation, I've actually reacted to... I think I should react to, like, another video. I haven't, re like, reacted to, like, an uh, Alien Isolation jump scare video in, like, two years, bro. In, like, a year and a half since I started, like, reacting to, like, you know, video games and gameplay and stuff like that. Um, oh, that was actually my first video that I've ever, like... That was my first ever gaming video that I've ever reacted to was an Alien Isolation um, jump scare compilation. And, um, and that was, like, it was really fun. Obviously, it was really scary, whatever. Uh, and I told you guys, this is actually, like, one of, like... I mean, in my opinion, one of the like the scariest games that like I've ever set eyes on. Like, I'm, like these these aliens move fast. Like, bro, it, it like the jump scare. Like, it, it's just crazy. So, in my opinion, um, I was actually waiting for them to actually like make a new game. It seemed like this is like uh they said like PlayStation VR and MetaQuest and stuff like that. In my opinion, bro, I feel like I mean. If, if this is specifically made for, like, the VR, like, you know, like, type of thing, whatever, then, like, you know, so be it. Because um, at first I thought this was, like, like this was, like, an original game out already. But I think this is actually, like, a like this is, like, a, just a new game that's coming out, a new Alien Isolation game in this VR, which sounds horrifying. Like, and I was saying, oh, no, because that sounds even more scary. Like, yes, like, you know, you're in first person, whatever, doing the actual Alien Isolation, like, gameplay or whatever, like, you know, like, from the TV. But, like, if you're playing VR, bro, and you're playing an Alien Isolation type of game, bro, that's horrifying. Bro, that, bro that's like a, that's like a, like, scary overload. Like, that, that, that's too much a human can handle right there, bro. That's not even funny or fair. Like, bro, bro like, like, honestly, like, like I'm, I'm not even, just, like, I'm, listen, I'm over here stuttering, whatever, bro, because this game, bro, if I ever played this game in VR, I promise you, bro. I, I, I don't think I would ever be the same. Like, <laughs> bro, I don't think I would ever be the same for this game, bro. Comment down below. What do you guys think about this? Um, because here's the thing, right? We're going to get a lot of, like, we're going to get, like, a lot of, like, VR things. Like, I wouldn't be surprised, like, if GTA V came to VR. Like, I, I would not be surprised at all. Uh, we're going to get, like, a lot of, like, VR games in the near future. I, like, I, listen, I saw this coming with the whole virtual reality thing, the whole AI thing. Like, I saw this coming from a mile away. We're going to get, like, a lot of games coming to, like, the meta quest and stuff like that. I've never had a meta quest before. Never had a PlayStation VR 2 before. Uh, I mean, so, you know, we'll see if I, like, dabble into the virtual reality thing. But until then, I'll just stick to the, you know, the controller and PlayStation and stuff like that. Or, or, or Xbox. It doesn't matter. I like them both. Uh, but yeah, I'll just stick to the controller because the VR thing, I mean, unless it's like, unless it's Beat Saber, what was it, Beat Saber or Beat Saber? I don't know how to describe, but it's that one game that all VR players play before. I've seen that game online. That game looks fun. Like you just swing into the beat or whatever. That looks fun. Like the blue and, uh, blue and red or whatever. That looks cool. Uh, but whenever like you're adding these scary games like Five Nights at Freddy's and uh, Alien Isolation, you're adding all these scary games, bro. I, I Listen. Call me what you want. Call me a scary, uh, scary cat, uh, a scary uh, a little kid or whatever, bro. But I can't handle that, bro. A lot of these scary games come into, like, you know, the VR world. Of course, like, for content-wise, all right, content-wise, cool. Like, you know, good. You know, everyone's going to be entertained, you know, because, you know, I'm going to be horrified. But then, you know, still going to entertain the people that are watching. So I guess it's a, 
it's a win-win, I guess. But in reality, bro, like I, I, I don't even, I don't see a lot of people playing scary games. Like, like I don't see like. Here's the thing, right? And maybe I'm just like too much like YouTube brain or content brain, but I just don't naturally see people waking up. How it's like how, how somebody would wake up and play Call of Duty, or somebody would wake up and play like you know, I don't know, um, Overwatch or League of Legends or whatever, right? How how someone would, would wake up and play like a regular game or whatever. I just can't imagine somebody waking up and putting on that headset and playing a scary game. I, I can't imagine it at all. I can't. Um, I think I've seen like Minecraft, like you know, in VR and stuff like that, and it, it was cool, or whatever. But um, nah, th- th- this. I mean, listen. It's cool. Like, when I say nah, I mean, like, I, I'm basically saying that I'm not going to play it. Um, and that's not, you know, like, throwing anything or any disses towards the actual game itself. It's just like, that. nah, that's like a scary overload. That's like a uh, j- j- just fright night, like, spooky, freaky overload. Like, I can't handle, like, I, like, I can't handle, like, the scariness and stuff like that, you know, from the game. And that's just being me. Like, it, 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 it don't sit there and say, oh, I can handle No, you can't. No, you can't. No, you can't. No, you can't. Mm-mm. You couldn't even play. Listen, you couldn't even play uh, Resident Evil by yourself. So how do you expect to, you know, for you to play this, this, this alien isolation VR? That's that's basically what it is. That's basically like what I'm seeing that. Uh, so I think for content wise, this would be fun. You know, cool. You get your laughs off. You know, while like while while your co- your <laughs> while your favorite content creator is horrified, you get your laughs off. Whatever. Here's the thing. We've all been there. We've all watched PewDiePie, you know, you know, play these scary games. You know, him getting scared. It's a part of the culture. Like, I, I understand, but um, you definitely won't ever. I mean, I'm going to say you won't ever catch me playing a scary game. You most likely will. Yeah, you'll, you'll catch me playing a scary game. Listen, like I said, if I hit 1 million subscribers, and I'm listen, I'm going to hit 1 million subscribers one day. When that time comes, then I'll play a scary game. Uh, I choose, though. That I choose. Like you don't. Cho- you don't get to choose. I choose. Uh, I'm gonna choose what scary game I'm gonna pick. Uh, it's just scary game. I, I I just don't resonate with scary games, bro. I I really don't. Especially Alien Isolation. That's too. It's too much, bro. Then when you got the aliens running like running behind you, bro, you can you can hear the footsteps, bro. Hey, bro, but listen, running from an alien in this game, bro. Like listen, running from an alien from this game is kind of like running. From like LeBron James, from like a chase down like block or something like that. Like you, like you can hear the footsteps behind you, and you know the inevitable is coming. It's just at the end of the day, like bro, I'm throwing off the headset, bro. I'm literally, bro. If I ever listen, let me tell you something, bro. If I get scared like hard or whatever, bro, I'm throwing off the headset, bro, and I'm burning it, bro. I can't lie, bro. I, I can't do it. I, I'll, bro, I'll sit here. I'd rather sit here and play Resident Evil. Uh, or I'll play, listen, I'll play Resident Evil Bio Biohazard Seven, right? I, I'll play that. I'd rather play that all day long than play like a uh, like an alien isolation game. I promise you, that's just me. That, call me whatever you want, man. But at the end of the day, I, I'm gonna keep my heart in my chest. My heart ain't coming out my chest, bro. I can't handle it. I'm sorry. Yes, cool. I, I'm a kid. Whatever, whatever comes to these scary games, I'll take it, man. I'll take it, bro. Because one more thing, bro. Bro, when, 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 listen, when I was doing, like, these little uh, jump scare videos and everything for you guys, bro, I was getting called all types of baby and, like, oh, but this game isn't even scary. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is scary. Yes, it is. I'm not like you. I can't just play a scary game in the dark in my room and close the door and, 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 just, and just be in the dark like this with the cover over my... No, I can't do that, bro. I can't do that. That's all you. If you can do that, bro, claps to you. Like, just, just... The, up, the high most up respect for you if you can just play a scary game in your room by yourself with a door lock with your cover on you like this bro no. great for you but listen i am a content creator bro if if i play a scary game if i you know react to a uh you know uh i don't know um a resident evil jump scare or whatever or uh alien isolation or whatever that thing is for content that thing is for your entertainment that's it i'm not doing bro I am not playing. Listen, I'm not just watching this stuff for fun. Like, I'm not just getting done with my videos. And at the end of the day, I just go on my phone like, hmm, you know what? I want to watch some Alien Isolation just jump scares. No, I promise. <laughs> no, bro. That thing, Listen, if I watch any scary thing, that's for your entertainment. Okay, you're welcome. I'm not watching none of that off, off the camera, bro. If the camera's not recording, I'm not doing it. Other than that, man. Um, I'll be glad to see, you know, where this goes and actually, you know, if the game comes out, um, and stuff like that, I'm sorry that I just took a whole detour from the, like, you know, from, from why you're here. Um, but in reality, man, 
these scary games they're getting out of hand they're getting too real they like it, it's it's starting to get psychological at this point like it's not even <laughs> it's not even fair bro other than that man see you guys on that finish them out and